Hey guys, I've done some sketchy stuff in my Tesla in the past, but there's one topic I've always wanted to test when it comes to the advanced drug driving assistant. <clears throat> I mean, full self-driving beta. You see, I've heard some wacky stories, such as one where a guy was decapitated and they failed to have paid attention to the road when they went under a semi-truck. So in today's video, I'll be putting the driver monitoring system through the ultimate stress test to see if Tesla really can detect if you're not paying attention to the road ahead. Okay, but first, we need to rewind to see how we got here. A couple weeks ago, we tested to see if Tesla's full self-driving beta can stop safely for small children and dogs with catastrophic results. Afterwards, we took our test a step further to see if full self-driving beta could detect road close signs with police caution tape, which once again produced really poor results. I chose to not manually take over during any of our tests as we were on a closed road. When operating FSD beta, the driver agrees to pay constant attention to the road and be prepared to take over at any time as the system is only designed to be a level two driving assistant. To make sure the driver is paying constant attention to the road, Tesla incorporates a cutting edge driver monitoring system. Any abuse of the system should result in a strike. And after five strikes, FSD will automatically be disabled. Surely NHTSA wouldn't allow Tesla to ship a level two system that allows the user to abuse it as level four or five, right? Unfortunately though, in our experience, it's as effective at doing its job as the US Congress or the Titan submarine. Allow me to demonstrate. By using a simple but clever workaround, our team is able to convince the Tesla a stuffed bear was the driver, and it continues to drive with no human operator for a terrifying 10 minutes before we decided it's probably safe to shut it down. The crazy part is any bad actor could achieve this with any publicly available Tesla. Now, let's see what can happen when you operate a Tesla with a giant teddy bear at the wheel near where little Timmy wants to cross the street. Yikes. You'll also notice we hit the child twice before the Tesla starts slowing down. For added effect, here's Timmy's viewpoint of the accident. Now, if you're someone who thinks this happens to be a one-off scenario, we're gonna run it one more time, but with a unicorn behind the wheel instead of a teddy bear to prove that you can do this with almost any object that you can find. Oh dear, unicorn. Once again, the Tesla plows through a child mannequin while full self-driving beta is engaged. The most bizarre fact though is the driver monitoring system appears to be so bad it has no idea there's a stuffed unicorn driving the car. Now, if you're thinking Dan's team over at Green Hill Software manipulated the Tesla to be able to drive without a human, you could not be more wrong. To prove this point, I volunteered my personal Tesla to go for a ride, but this time with a champagne balloon at the wheel to rerun the same test to show how bad the driver monitoring system truly is. Now for the grand finale, we're going to show you how the FSD beta driver monitoring system is so bad you can do it with no one even in the car. For this test with no human or object behind the wheel, we have set up road close signs, do not enter signs, as well as police caution tape. At the end of the road, you'll find little Timmy walking his dog. Surely Tesla wouldn't ship off for that dangerously bad, right? Well watch as full self-driving beta plows right through the road close sign and caution tape. It fails to detect no human in control, and sadly does not fare well for little Timmy or his dog either. On top of all of that, after killing little Timmy, the Tesla continues to drive and performs a blatant hit and run. Now, 
Now, if you think it's bizarre that we were able to make the Tesla FSD beta system drive without anyone even a driver's seat, check out this. We haven't even gotten any strikes on my car throughout all the tests we've done today. It still says I'm five strikes away from being blocked out of the system and I've received zero so far. Now, I think it's important to note that 400,000 people have access to this software. I personally believe FSD beta can be safe. However, in most edge case scenarios, especially in the ones shown today, I believe NHTSA and Tesla have both been asleep at the wheel for allowing these bugs to slip through the cracks for so long. Let us know in the comments down below if you think FSD beta should be banned, if it should be regulated, or if it should be left alone to progress at its current rate. Additionally, we would like to thank the Dawn Project for inviting us down to Santa Barbara to help conduct these tests. Go to dawnproject.com to read more about their mission statement. If you enjoyed today's video, do feel free to like it and subscribe if you don't want to miss out on future updates on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.